the birthday surprise and look at the birthday people. Oh, they were sleeping. They're up now. Build a bear! If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. treat today. There's lots of marvelous things to eat and wonderful games to play. Beneath the trees where nobody sees, they'll hide and seek as long as they please. That's the way the teddy bears have their picnic. So today has been a great success. Um, I think I have been more excited about going to build a bear than my kids have. Just thinking about how we always want to do the best and get the best for our kids. We always want to make sure that we've got the best. But somehow I can't but think about how sometimes in doing that and getting the best for our kids, we're actually teaching them a little bit that everything comes easy. And life is not a picnic. Picnic time for teddy bears The little teddy bears are having a lovely time today Watch them, catch them unawares And see them picnic on the holiday See them gaily get about They love to play and shout They never have any cares at six o'clock their mummies and daddies will take them home to bed Cause they're tired little teddy bears We've had a good picnic! Here is my builder bear with me! So after spending an obscene amount of money, but a well worth it amount of money in the build bear workshop, I got to thinking, am I spoiling my kids? Am I making things a little too easy for them? Speaking with someone the other day, they spoke about how young people nowadays don't have any grit. They are unable to work the way their parents did, long hours, heavy workloads, non-existent holidays. They aren't willing to pay the price, they said. This conversation made me think that my parents sacrificed in ways that I can only begin to imagine because they didn't want me to have to. They wanted me to have more than they did, have access to more than they did, enjoy life a little more than they did. And I pray that I am fulfilling their hopes and dreams. But I wonder if that motivation to achieve great things is dying with each new generation that is out doing the last. I wonder if giving my kids the best in the world is making it seem like Things come easy like life is a picnic is it giving them an expensive sense of entitlement I mean we have heard of millionaires who intentionally do not pass on their wealth to their kids is it because they want the kids to value work is it to install grit what do you think are we spoiling our kids